that's got a threshold with the temperature, the camera? Uh, I don't know, it breaks the brakes. Basically, it's saying it shouldn't be cool. Yeah. Fortunately, I was just a pawn at something I didn't believe in and learned a little later on in life what the right thing was. Empathy. <clears throat> Everybody has the right to speak on it. People need to educate themselves to the laws and what they really are. Take the time to research it instead of say, hey, it's a stupid idea. Or, you know, like you said, you're using big words. That's right. They use big words and turn them on us. Most of the legislators are attorneys. I mean, I'm from Wisconsin. Governor Scott Walker, he cut out all the state taxes so they could take our natural land, yeah. our state parts that we have ownership in. And he sold those fuckers. And I'm part of my language, but I'm, I'm frustrated. We have pipeline 61 and 66 in Wisconsin. They build without even asking. And now their only reason why they're stopping them right now is because they don't know how much to insure. Them. How much to insure our lives. <clears throat> my child, my 17 year old son, who I went to the military to support. I was a young father, I didn't have any way. So I went and thought that Iraq was the way out of it. I thought we were a threat. We weren't a threat. We want to spread our US currency so we can enslave the other countries. That's exactly what's going on. Once they use our banking system, they tell us how much our houses are worth and how much we get paid on the dollar. So they can keep us enslaved just enough so we'll keep working and not come protest. So we won't educate ourselves. We'll be working 40 plus hours to support our family. We don't know the fucking law. I tell you what, I haven't had a job because they denied me that fucking right and I've been studying. And I've been building my, my repertoire of shit to come here and stand. So when they shoot me, I'll say, I don't give a fuck. Kill me. What the fuck else do I have? Madison, Wisconsin. East side of it. And they laughed at me when I joined the army and said, East side. I was an Abrams crewman, 30th Infantry Division. 269, front line, when we invaded Iraq. My unit was go time. You can find that Time Magazine anywhere else. Colonel Jeffrey Sanderson led the way. I was on one of the 14 tanks that led the fucking way. We got shot at by our own people, artillery, mortar. We had a kettle war. We were killing people for the wrong fucking reason. Had I known that, I would have been on the other side. Of but don't Whoa. shut anybody's voice down the phone. These people have made their way up from Houston. You know, if they want to stand here and get shot, who cares if it's for the same reason? My buddy here, we brung a bunch of donations up for people that couldn't be here. He doesn't believe in this political warfare shit, but he's just tired of the government pushing people around. I believe in the prayers, I believe in what everybody else says, I'm open. Even if it conflicts with what I am, because I'm open to learn. I shut myself down to the possibility of knowledge when I decide it's not my, my way of thinking. <laughs> That's all I really have to say right now. Thanks a lot for listening, guys. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Go home and organize.